favorite sister. So it's up to you to decide on this guy. All I know is he's had four strokes and he's a bit slow now. And I don't know. Okay, whatever I say is wrong in it. So let's get bubbles on. <laughs> it's best I stay out of this. Um, if you want to come on bubbles and do it, explain. There's a few things in chat you may want to talk to. Uh, I don't want to get involved in this. I've got David on because I want to know about Christopher Watts. I don't want to get dragged into this controversy or to be seen supporting anybody. He's good enough to come on and talk to us, but I, I don't know. Maybe it's not worth it. Maybe what I'm doing is not worth it. I don't know. What do you think? There's so much criticism and negativity, you know? I will not downplay his charge, but I will say this. He was with um, dating or I, I don't know if he was dating or what, but he was with a girl that was very willing it was what they say consensual back in 2007 he had a consensual uh, episode with a girl okay you i'm not going to deny that but he was totally in the wrong. Yes. He was lied to and said she was 18, which is totally credible. He is now has to be a registered offender from now on. We were trying to portray what was going on with Chris Watts. But the haters focused on David more than they did what we were supposed to be talking about with Chris and his new roommate. And then David gets on meth. He gets, he gets in trouble. He goes to his sister's house and apparently they got in a fight, an uh, argument. He doesn't remember putting his hands on her whatsoever. And she had no marks on her. She called the police and he got charged with strangling her out. He is not going to take a plea agreement, and he is not going to be uh, plead guilty. He's going to fight it because he said he did not do it. What happened? That's that's none of our business. What happened between them is none of our business. He got charged with something, and he is going to court, and he is going to fight it because he says he didn't do it. Please join Patreon. Not for my sake, for your sake. You can't miss this story. And I can't say the sexual stuff. The sexual goings on in that prison is going to knock you out. Who's joining Patreon right now? You need to. I've not slept all night, and I can't sleep now. And it's another six hours to go. 